Hello, coolers. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We are going to start with this report claiming that Barcelona have denied any contact with Kylian Mbappe. Of course, recently we were hearing many reports, especially in France, L'Equipe was claiming that Barca want to, you know, they want to dive in the race to intercept Real Madrid for their target Kylian Mbappe. But Barca have come out to refuse all those rumors, which we are going to be discussing about in this video. Secondly, talking on this other transfer news, claiming that Ferran Torres is urging Barcelona to sign his former teammate at Man City, Alexandro Zinchenko. We are going to be discussing on that report as well. Thirdly, talking about Sergio Roberto, as another club have entered the race, to sign him in the summer and it is La Liga club Real Betis. They are pushing to sign the Barcelona veteran on a free transfer come summer. Then lastly, talking on another transfer news claiming that Barcelona are currently keeping close tabs on this Real Sociedad 19-year-old striker John Caricaburo. We are going to be discussing on all those stories in much detail as we move ahead. So guys, as we get right into it, please endeavor to subscribe to this channel. If you are a lover of FC Barcelona, we are on our way to 10,000 subscribers and I'll really be pleased if you do well to subscribe. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. After hitting a roadblock in the pursuit of Erling Haaland, Barcelona's name has been linked to Real Madrid prime target Kylian Mbappe. The report relayed by L'Equipe said that the club has already made contact with a French player and who is keeping all options open for now. However, Muno Deportivo, nearly 12 hours later or after the report was released, have reported that Barcelona have denied any contact with Mbappe's camp. The club does not appreciate their name being dragged into a war with Madrid. In fact, Barca assumed that Mbappe will be a Madrid player by the time the season ends after being linked to them for several years running. Barcelona's first priority is still Alain, but they are aware of the problems they could face along the way. The entire operation is worth around 300 million euros across the next five years, which Barcelona cannot commit to right now, to be honest. As such, they have you know, shortlisted some alternative. Robert Lewandowski is one of them, while a keen eye is being kept on Mohamed Salah's renewal situation. They are reportedly ready to offer 50 million euros for Lewandowski with a four-year contract. As it stands though, there are little to no new updates on Alain's front. It's a toss-up between Man City and Madrid with Barca as the dark horses. Then on to the next story of discussion. FC Barcelona are preparing for a busy summer ahead, having reportedly closed the signing of Andres Christensen and Frank Hesse, both of whom are set to join on a free transfer. There are more signings to come, with recent reports even suggesting Nusen Maldry's desire to join Barcelona next season, with a right back, a centre back and a midfielder already in back. Xavi could look to make a move for a new left back this summer. Barca have been in contention to sign a multitude of talented left backs across La Liga, including Jose Gaia and Alex Moreno. They are reportedly keeping tabs on RB Leipzig starlet Angelino as well. According to Fijar Jess, though Barcelona have been urged to sign um, Zinchenko next season by his former Manchester City, um, City teammate and current attacking ace Ferran Torres. Ferran Torres believes that the Ukrainian international has the right qualities to emerge as an ideal long-term replacement for Jordi Alba. Zinchenko is unlikely to cost a fortune either as Man City are actively looking to sell him in the summer. The player himself is keen on moving on after struggling with a lack of game time at the Etihad, falling behind Jao Cancelo in the pecking order. A midfielder by trade, Zinchenko offers versatility to the table as he can operate as an attacking midfielder or even as a left winger apart from the left back. His years of experience playing under Pep Guardiola should also be useful in helping him seamlessly settle to Barca's style of play. Ferran Torres has played with Zinchenko for merely a season and a half, but he appears to have built a good relationship with a Ukrainian and is backing him to succeed at the Camp Nou. Whether or not Barcelona go ahead and make a move for Zinchenko this summer remains to be seen. Then on to the next story of discussion. Earlier this month, 
it was reported that Sergio Roberto was on the verge of a shocking move to Atletico Madrid on a free transfer. However, it appears Los Cochineros has abandoned the pursuit of the Barcelona midfielder this week, leaving the player in a precarious situation. While Xavi has shown his desire to keep hold of Roberto, the Spaniard has refused to settle for a massive pay cut in order to prolong his stay at the Camp Nou. With his current contract expiring at the end of this season, time is running out for both parties involved. However, according to Fitcher Jess, Roberto has no shortage of sitters just yet and has been courted by another La Liga outfit in the form of Real Betis. The Andalusian team considered Roberto as a market opportunity due to his expiring contract. Coach uh, Manuel Pellegrini even views the Barcelona star as an ideal replacement for Hector Bellerin at right back. The charismatic Spaniard had, had joined the club last summer in a season-long loan deal, but he is set to return to Arsenal after the end of the season, with Pellegrini not having too much faith in alternate and in alternative Yusuf Salbali. A major stumbling block for Real Betis in the pursuit of Roberto is a player's salary demand. The Spaniard earns around 6 million euros per season at Barca, a figure too high for Los Beticos, who are hoping to lure him with a promise of more game time. Roberto has so far chosen to remain put. He is willing to wait a bit longer to see if he can come to an agreement with Barcelona, failing which he, he could consider that option to join Real Betis next season. Then on to the final story of discussion, why there has been a lot of focus on Barcelona's pursuit of Borussia Dortmund superstar Erling Haaland. Barca at the same time are continuing to keep their tabs on exciting young stars within Spain, Europe and across the globe to add to their ranks. Barca have secured the signing of such talent in Pablo Torre and have been pushing to sign Brazilian wonder kid Hendrik from Palmeiras. Now, Mundo Deportivo reports that Barcelona also have their eyes on exciting Real Sociedad striker John Caricaburu. The 19-year-old forward has been on the club's radar since last year with John Andoni, um, a scout for the Catalans, keeping a close watch on his development at the Bass outfit for a while now. Caricaburu is a product of La Ria's youth setup and has made just one senior appearance to date. However, he has impressed with the club's B team, having netted 14 goals and set up two more from 37 appearances to date. The young star's impressive track record in youth football and his performances for the B team has attracted a lot of eyeballs. It prompted Real Sociedad to hand the teenager a new long-term contract last year, extending his stay at the Anueta until the summer of 2026. The La Liga outfit also inserted a 60 million euros release clause in Caricaburo's new contract, ensuring that any club interested in signing him will have to make a significant financial investment. Along with Caricaburo, Barcelona are also keeping tabs on another Sociedad young star in the form of 20-year-old midfielder Bernard Torrietes, who happens to have a release clause worth 50 million. Barca have enjoyed a lot of joy by putting their faith in young stars like Ansu Fati, Pedri, Gavi, Nico, among others in the recent past, so it does not come as a surprise that they continue to score the market for talented prospects. However, a move for Karikaburu will be complicated, his lengthy contract and a sizable release clause of 60 million euros. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so. So you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.